Hi everyone. This week at MBU Athletics, it's been a huge week as we've had our basketball season start up and we've had a lot of uh, good games this week as our boys had a game both Tuesday and Thursday and they showed up for both and the girls had the season opener on Thursday as our uh, men's basketball team took on Day Spring on Tuesday and defeated them, breaking a hundred. They played outstanding. Uh, they played great as a team. A lot of movement, um, ball movement, and just a lot of distribution for the points, and just a great overall come out uh, on Tuesday. And Robert Sonberg had a career high. And several other players contributed as we had three people at least in double digits. So it was a great night to be a Sabre Cat for the men's basketball team. That was a great turnout. And then on Thursday, the men took on North Central, which is a great college and a, a great team. And they knew it was going to be a tough game. I mean, North Central from Minnesota is uh, nobody is a they're a pretty good team so they knew it was going to be tough although their record it doesn't show it they are a good team and the men knew that they had to come out strong so they played them tight and um, it was back and forth the whole game uh, MBU had the lead the North Central had a lead and just a lot of runs were going on it just was uh, a great game overall throughout the whole uh, throughout the whole game, both halves were good. And as the final minutes were ticking down, it was going back and forth for a while. And the Sabercats tied it up. It was a back and forth thriller for most of the game. So this was just a great opportunity for our, for our guys. And as the final minutes were ticking down, uh, Book had tied the game up at 90. And North Central had the ball but were unable to score, and Richard Medina uh, got the ball, got the rebound, and he almost drilled a three-quarter court shot, but it hit the top of the rim and didn't go in. So they went into overtime, and this was a thrilling game, but the men's team came out strong and had a commanding lead for most of the, most of o the overtime and uh, ended up winning the game. 105 to 97 and this is the second time this season the guys have gotten into 100 um got broke 100 points and last year i believe they only had broken 100 points one other time so this is uh, a great thing coming out for our for our guys in their season this is uh, it looks like they're coming out strong and um it was a great finish last night for last night's game the women had their season opener Thursday night as well against a very good Mount Mary team now the women's basketball team has a special situation because majority of the ba basketball team is on the volleyball team as well and the women's volleyball team just finished their season by winning nation the national championship and that was right before Thanksgiving break two weeks ago. So that means they did not practice at all with the team until three days before the first game. So that's kind of a unique situation for the women's basketball team. But they power through and they use those three practices to get into the basketball mode a bit and to get used to playing together as a team. So they came out and played a very strong Mount Mary team right away. Um, it was tied at two, and then from there, Mount Mary kind of took control as they had a very fast offense, and our girls were not able to keep up with them defensively in the man-to-man. -man. So uh, Coach Mo decided to switch over to a zone defense, which helped um, a bit, but we just our shots were not falling, so... For a while, we were down by quite a few points, 11 points, I think, in the first quarter. And it kind of, we never really maintained a lead. The women's ba basketball team didn't maintain a lead in, um, 
throughout the whole game, but they were still getting used to the feel of the game and um, kind of first game jitters, I guess. But going into halftime, they were confident and they knew what they had to improve on. They went into a zone again to shut down their offense, but they overloaded, Mount Mary overloaded a side and they had several good post players that were able to score off the dribble and several good outside outside shooters who were hitting it from the three. So they maintained a substantial lead throughout the fourth and third and fourth quarter until the last minutes of the fourth quarter. The women's volleyball basketball team was down by, I believe, 18 points at one time in the fourth quarter. Then they decided to put on a press, which then kind of turn, turned the game around because couple turnovers, two, three turnovers turned into six points. And then they got the score down to four points. And uh, they had made an incredible comeback from 18 points down to finish the game uh, 54-60. But it was a great uh, game to learn from and a great game for our women to experience because they know what they need to improve on for Saturday as the women's and men's basketball team will be headed to Faith and Ankeny to face uh, the Faith Baptist Eagles. And they'll be back on Saturday as well. So we look forward to that. One thing that's been kind of a struggle this season so far is coach, the main coach for, main head coach for the basketball team, men's basketball team, has been out for a couple of weeks due to a concussion, but recently he had his appendix burst, so he had to have an uh, an operation to remove his appendix, and that has been uh, preventing him from practicing with the guys and being at the games, so that's definitely something that has affected them, but it looks like the men's basketball team is doing well uh, besides the fact that they don't have their main coach at the games and practices, but we'll be praying for Coach Solscheider as he's in the hospital right now, but hopefully he'll be back by the beginning of January and um, he'll be in full strength. So looking forward to Saturday and uh, more games to come.